Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a video on scopes and sights and how to use them and where to place them. But before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know that a very small percentage of you um, that watch my videos are subscribed. And I mean super small as you guys can see by the picture on the screen. And if you guys like my channel, I would love it if you guys would subscribe. That would help me out a lot. But um, for the scopes and sights, I'm just going to go over a couple of things about them and how to use them. So as you can see with the scope on the screen, um, that is a 4x32 scope and that is on our ASL Tango, which is our gun that we have tuned in for sniping kind of and kind of close like kind of like a marksman but a step up from marksman but not like a step up from marksman but a step down from sniper so it's right between there and I the way you want to have your scope set up is you want to have it so as soon as you shoulder your rifle your scope is right there and you don't have to move your head or anything and as some of you guys might know when you look down your scope you are looking through and you have to get your head in the right spot because if you don't get your head in the right spot then the way that it magnifies you actually look at the side wall of the scope so you're not looking directly at your crosshairs you're just looking at the wall and all you'll see is black so that's why you want to make sure that you do extensive different types of testing when you're doing putting scopes on not as much with sights but you still want to pay attention when you're putting your sights on because the difference is like this is a magnified and the sight is not magnified so with the scope you're for starting out as a beginner using a scope you're gonna want to use one eye closed and one eye opened now me with my gun I shoot with both eyes open using a scope or a sight because I've just been doing it for a really long time but as beginning, you guys just are going to want to use one eye open and one eye close. If you're right eye dominant, close your left eye and use your right eye to shoot. Vice versa, if you're left eye dominant, close your right eye and use your left eye to shoot. And what you're going to want to do is when you're looking down, the difference is between having an eye open and an eye shut. When you have an eye shut, you lose 90% of your vision because you're looking down a scope. Because when you close, say you're right eye dominant like I am, you close your left eye, you look down your scope, all you're going to see is the crosshairs and what's behind your crosshairs, and that's it. But if you open your left eye, then you can see everything around you and have some peripheral vision so you don't get snuck up on. That is why you want to make sure that you do that because... I've been snuck up on before when I used to start playing airsoft a while ago because I had one eye open and one eye shut, but now that I've practiced a really long time with it and doing it, it's just a lot easier. Now when you're using a scope compared to a sight, when you're using the one eye open versus um, two eyes open, I'll get into that when I do my sight or go over my sight, but with the scope since the scope is so much longer you have less of an area of view and you kind of lose like it's kind of super hard to see because compared to the sight the sight is shorter and when you have both eyes open all you see is your red dot and that's it you don't see anything else because it's so short but when you're using the sight since it's longer you still see the wall of it so you have to do a mixture of shooting with both eyes open, but still getting your head in the right spot so you can see your crosshairs, but at the same time, you try to eliminate as much as you can of that sidewall so you can actually shoot better with um, both eyes open. Now, if you're, you've tried it and you can't do it, that's okay. Shoot with both eyes or one eye closed and one eye opened with a scope. Now it's super easy on a sight than it is to a scope, but let's get into talking about the sight stuff. Okay, so as you can see here, this is my Lancer Tactical Interceptor that I use and I classify it as a marksman assault because of everything I've done to it and the range that I shoot with it. Now, as you can see compared to the scope, the sight is actually farther forwards than the scope was. 
the scope was like all the way back towards the back of the receiver by where the charging handle is compared to the sight where the sight is right above the magwell. Now that is because when you're using a sight, you want it to be not super close, but not super far away. Like you wouldn't want to put it all the way like super far down here or way even farther down. You kind of want it in that middle area. That's why it's perfect to put above your magwell. That's what I have with all my sights and that's what I tell my friends to do. Put your sight above your magwell. It makes it so much easier for sighting in. And as soon as you shoulder your weapon, it is right there. Like you don't have to move at all. You just look right there. Now, with mine, mine is on a slight riser. Now, if you have like a hollow sun red dot or a red dot that's risen up higher instead of just a slight rise as mine, it's a lot better. With mine, I still have to move my head down just a little bit because of it's because it's lower. But I'm used to using my gun, so as soon as I shoulder my weapon, you won't see me move my head because. I know where I have to be to shoulder my weapon and where it's going to be at when I do shoulder my weapon so I can get the perfect shot. Now, with the sights compared to the scopes on sighting them in, with a sight, I, my sight is the type of sight that has the dot in the middle with the circle around it. Now, a lot of people have different opinions on these types of sights or that crosshair because they have like different styles of sighting them in. Now the way I sight mine in is I try to get my dot or my BBs as close as I can to that center dot. Now I know people that put these types of scopes that have this dot with the ring around it on LMGs because when you full auto BBs don't go consistently in a straight line. They'll go further out of your gun but then they'll just disperse and go everywhere. So that's why people have, with an LMG, they'll have their gun sighted in with one of these scopes. So when they shoot out, their initial shot on single shot is right on that center dot. But then when they full auto, it's anywhere inside of that circle. So that's, that's why having a super tight bore is nice because you get um, that area, like that field of expansion of BBs shrunk down with a tighter bore barrel. So that's why it's perfect on having those, especially an LMG, because you say you're shooting somebody single shot with your LMG, you know where it's going to go, but then you have to just dump as suppression fire, you know it's going to be in this circle, so you know that's big of a circle. If the enemy's behind that, then they can't go anywhere because that is where all your BBs are going to go. Now, compared to the scope, when you're sighting in a scope, you want your BB to be precisely in the middle like as close as you can to the middle of that crosshair so you'll do a ton of tuning like must like the best you can on tuning it like sometimes during different times of playing airsoft you'll adjust your scope as you're playing now i don't do that because i have my sight sighted in and my scope sighted in so i don't do that ever normally in a game you'll not see me do it but with my sight i actually not during a game, but I consistently change my scope or my sight, like the windage and elevation, because it depending on where I'm playing. So if I'm playing in my home field, quote unquote, backyard, um, that I just keep it there. But if I'm playing in the woods or somewhere else where I don't play a lot, I will go to a range of where I'm comfortable at shooting or I think I'm going to be shooting people and adjust it just a little bit so it's kind of there. And I will actually have a piece of paper that marks down how many times I turned it a certain direction. So as soon as I get back to my home field, I can just switch it back to where I had it and it'll be perfect. And it's also really good if you go to multiple different places and play, if you have it written down, have say the field you, your home field, have the, what it's written at, or just say home field and say zero 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 with it but then next field that you go to write that field name down on the paper and then write down how many clicks of windage and elevation you do if you don't do any say you don't do any elevation you just do windage if it's super windy just write down the elevation or the windage and then write down zero zero 
as your um, elevation and that was actually a super easy way of keeping um like super what am I trying to say here like basically a custom preset site basically on because it's it's not like a video game it's like in real life so you can't just go through and say I want this but if you have it written down then you know okay I have to go this many for this field and so on so on and so forth and with the scope it's not really you can do that but it's not really that effective a scope is like you want to keep it there unless you have to shoot really far with it and then you just want to adjust it as you can to like the play style and where you're playing not as much so with the sight as the scope the sight you want to do more the scope you just want to leave it there so that was this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys learned something from this and how to set up your site for if you're brand new or if you've been playing the game for a while and you can't like get the best um shooting as you want because your site's not that accurate so thank you for guys for joining me make sure you guys like subscribe please if you guys love my channel it's free you can unsubscribe anytime and make sure you guys tell your friends and i'll catch you guys in the next video